this is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness. What a great pleasure it is to be with you from lovely Lake Taupo, the North Island of New Zealand. Just about to start a seven-day event and oh my goodness, I mean, wow, just check out the natural beauty. I mean, is it amazing or what? This is the view from my uh, from the balcony of the apartment that I'm staying in here. And, uh, you know, I managed to have a couple of days off before the action starts, as it were. And uh, just wanted to share this with you, number one. You can see the apartments and different things there. But, wow, what an amazingly beautiful part of the world. Guess I can turn that all around for you. There you go. There's apartments. There's lake. There's lake and apartments. So, ah, so what's the tool for today? Well, one of the things I've found recently, you know, in traveling around the world is there's all kinds of points of view people have about themselves that are not actually true. It's not actually what's true for them. It's not what's true about them, but it's these things that they've been carrying around their entire life as though it is true. You know, they picked it up at some point and they went, oh, I am this or I'm not this, you know, where they said, oh, I'm not good at math, for example, or I'm not very smart or, <clears throat> you know, I have to struggle and nothing is easy for me. These are all things that we carry around that are not true for us. And there are huge amounts of other things. So today's tool is basically two questions. The first is, what's true about you that you have not been acknowledging? That if you would acknowledgement, acknowledge, <laughs> oh joy, easy for me to say, that if you would acknowledge it, would allow you to create everything in your life with greater ease. Everything that doesn't allow that, will you destroy and uncreate it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So once again, what's true about you that you haven't acknowledged, that if you acknowledged it, would allow you to create everything in your life, including happiness, with greater ease. Everything that doesn't allow that times a gazillion, destroy and create it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. <clears throat> That's first. Now, let's look at the other side. Because what happens is, so the thing about what's true is, what happens is we are not taught to acknowledge what's true for us. We're taught to acknowledge what fits other people's worlds, what fits other people's realities, what fits other people's judgments. And so what this is about is getting to what's actually true for you that will change everything. And now the other side of it, what have you bought as true for you that actually isn't, that is actually a lie about you that you've been perpetrating on you? Now, if you let that go, would it make your life a lot easier? Everything that is times a godzillion we destroy and create a place. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Let's do it a slightly different and perhaps easier way. What lies have you bought about you that are not true? That if you'd let them go would make your life the ease and joy you know it truly can be. Everything that doesn't allow it, times a gazillion, we just run and create a place. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And one more time, what lies have you bought about you that aren't actually true? That if you let them go would make it the place of ease and joy it truly can be. Everything that is, everything that doesn't allow it, times a godzillion, we destroy and create a place. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. So with that, if you actually start to get what's true for you that you haven't acknowledged and haven't chosen, if you undo the lies about you and about what you have tried to make true, what is supposed to be true for you that actually isn't, imagine how much more ease you can have. Because when you're heading in the direction of what's true, it always works out easier than when you don't. So that's my gift to you from beautiful Taupo, New Zealand. Look forward to being with you next time on the Tour of Consciousness. This is Dr. Dane. What if you truly being you are the gift, the change, and the possibility this world requires. I look forward to being with you next time, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.